take off all of its clothes. All the clothes. Take off all the clothes because you want to make sure there's no bug infestation. Mm -hmm. We don't know where this came from. We got it from a, a thrift store, so have it. You got her undressed now. As far as the clothes go, we are going to color the clothes because this is boring. Oh, that's not scary at all. These are the spray paints that you'll use. I use black, white, and then a sealer when it's all said and done. You won't get to the sealer until you've painted on everything. So we need to prep the doll and then put on a coat of paint. So I'm gonna stop it right here. So just push that tape. This is regular masking tape, painter's tape, whatever. Just push that up in the hairline. Okay, meanwhile, the doll is drying. And you want to give the doll enough time to dry, too. Alright, so yesterday we spray painted the coats of paint on her. She's dried overnight, and this is what she looks like with the paint dry and everything. And that is painting on the details of the face. And I like to use this brand of acrylic paint, Apple Barrel from Walmart. It's usually only 50 cents each, so it's a good deal. You get your paint brushes out, and it's time to decide what you want your doll to be. And there's really no wrong thing to make it because it's your horror doll. It's your decision if you want it to be a ghost, a vampire, a zombie, witch, whatever. it how to make your own spooky porcelain doll prop for Halloween for under ten dollars <laughs>